Hi guys, uh, it's Dhanush Kumar. Uh, in this video, let's uh, make some changes in the app called Android Source Codes. Android Source Code Examples. So here is the look of the app. So there are uh, many example codes, so which you can view the code or uh, or which you can save to the source or uh, you can download the zip file but uh, few of them uh, required pro version for uh, pro uh, subscription to view or uh, extract the zip so let's uh, make some changes such that it work uh, without pro buying the pro so you can see the license uh, you need to buy this uh, so that it can uh, work with the pro so let's open any one of the example code here so we have two locked uh, pro locked uh, buttons so let's click uh, here it shows some dialog called uh, pro only you need to purchase to remove all the limits and ads uh, let's click ok so you can see it takes to the purchase activity uh, pro purchase activity or you can say that so now let's uh, make some changes in the app such that uh, the pro button uh, also pro button works for uh, us so that it can view the source by clicking here and uh, it can extract the zip by clicking here so now first uh, let's extract the app so here is the app android source code examples so let's extract the app so get apk and uh, let's extract the app uh, you can see uh, so it is in form of bundle apk so you need to convert it to standalone apk so before that uh, we need to kill the signature verification of uh, this app so to do that uh, i have a app called np manager so as it is a it's a bundle apk so let's extract the files of uh, the zip you can see let's uh, use the zip and let's delete all the extra files uh, which are not necessary for us so now so let's uh, consider any one empty folder so I consider this folder extract all the files so after extracting the files you need to apply the signature kill uh, feature only for a base apk you uh, not necessary to apply for a uh, other uh, files so let's apply it for a base uh, apk remove signature verification kill signature verification so, so the killing of uh, signature is done so the next step is to convert it, uh, all the files back to zip and then convert it to standalone apk so let's go to empty manager so I'll view the zip and uh, I'll view the extracted files. So uh, what I'm going to do is, so you need to sign all the files with the same signature. So let's first find out the original signature. You can see the original app is uh, uh, signature is v1 plus v2 plus v3. Uh, you know that. And uh, let's delete this one. So here is the killed signature killed uh, apk base apk so let's up, uh, sign this app uh, first function and uh, apk sign so you should be selecting v1 v2 v3 and ok and you, you need to do this process for uh, uh, other three files as well so you need to sign with the same signature key v1 v2 v3 and uh, sign with this and sign the file so all the files have been signed 
so now let's delete the uh, original files so now we need to rename it uh, to the original files it's just uh, base apk and this uh, you just remove the sign so now uh, the signature kill uh, is done and uh, signing is also done so let's delete the original files and let's move the signature killed uh, files to the zip so now now we need to convert uh, this signature killed uh, apk x apk package into the standalone apk so the apk is uh, converted now let's delete the bundle apk bundle app and uh, install the standalone apk let's see if it uh, works or not so our app is uh, working completely fine so it's the signature killed version of the app standalone apk so now the first step is done converting the x apk into standalone apk so now next step is to change the logic so I'll go back to the uh, here backup app file uh, example code so you need uh, pro version for both to view and extract the files so when I click here you can see we have a dialog pop-up called uh, pro only so we need to we have a entry point here uh, this that's the dialog so let's search for this dialog text in our uh, app so let's open it in empty manager here so let's search for uh, unit 2 as you see dialog text here once again you can uh, search for this text of dialog so we have found it in uh, many places you can see here is the dialog code which we required you need to purchase so let's open this you can see we have found the actual dialog code alert dialog you can see here so now let's uh, find out where else it is uh, triggered so let's find the usage of this uh, function so you can see it is called in many places but we require uh, with a particular place so that we can uh, go through the logic so i want uh, i'll go through this uh, this activity's logic so let's open the current activity so you can see the activity which i mean is a sub app backup apps i hope it is uh, visible for you so it's sub app backup so let's search for this so it's here we are in this activity sub app backup apps you can see we have two dialog calls here so we are almost all there so you can see two dialog calls one is this one and another is this one so we have got almost all uh, there so you can see here the dialog call is here under certain condition called condition e so you can see the condition e is uh, here p1 is checked so the p1 is uh, some boolean so we need to find this boolean here now let's go to okay now let's find the usage of this boolean where else it is used so that uh, we can come to a conclusion you can see here it is used in uh, all other uh, cases that means it's the particular uh, we are in the right path for the uh, logic bypass so 
hit so let's analyze the logic once again for uh, our activity sub back backup activity you can see here so you can see the logic here so if p1 is 0 if p1 is 0 then it will go to condition a that means if for p1 value this boolean is false then it will go it, it will open the dialog or else uh, it will run through the code and open the source code so this is what we are required that means we need to set p1 to true so for this uh, let's again once again go to the the logic here so we not uh, we, we should not change it here directly let's find the usages of put method that is usages of put you can see here so there are many places here so one is one it is in license activity it is done after uh, that one tap after you are buying the so let me show you so after you buy this uh, it is going to set this we know uh, we are not going to follow this method so let directly follow with the main activity you can see s put boolean it is taking the v4 let's analyze the app v4 you can see the v4 value 0x1 that means we are in the right track we need to execute this code where it is that means we need to execute this code I mean this condition should not be true so for that what we can do is if uh, v2 I can just uh, make it as slash 4 v2 comma 0 x1 so it is i have made the value of v2 as true now sorry i have messed up something yeah it's right if it is 0 it will go to condition 8b or else it will uh, run with here so now the value is 1 it will run through this and set the boolean value to 1 so let's go back and uh, see some other conditions there so now the all is i think uh, everything is set here so let's save this and uh, let's have a try building the app so the app is compiled now let's uh, install the app So now let's uh, see whether the app is working or not. You can see all the boundaries are gone there. Now you can use this app without buying the pro. Like let's go for license here. You can see the app is uh, activated now. By only one line, one change in code, you can uh, crack the entire app. So this is uh, what about this app. So thanks for watching.